That is the first flat record. And that's from 1881. Who knows what it's worth? How can something that old not be worth a lot? I have, uh, I bought one million albums uh, in, in the archive and about a million and a half singles. The Library of Congress did a study on the merchandise that I have in my collection and from 48 to 66, they decided that only 17% of that music is available to the public on CD. Now, do you think about that for a second? That means 83% of the music that I have on those shelves, you can't buy at any price anywhere. This is probably the store's single most valuable record. This album was never commercially released for the consumer, and it's very rare. It's worth anywhere from six dollars to $10,000. And this is a brand new copy. Well, I used to be a salesman on the road for Morris Paper Company, and while I was out on the road, I always kept my eye open for recordings and music, and I acquired this and that, and I used to meet collectors and used to trade a lot. Any way I could get the records that I didn't have or that I loved, I did that for years and years. So we had, uh, we just bought a new house, and uh, he would keep coming home with records and more records and more records. So after he had about 60,000 records or so in my basement, I said, look, here's the deal. Either you go open up a store or get rid of the records. And he said, oh, okay, I'll do that. And I said, if you want a name, call it Record Rama. To become an archive, you had to maintain a collection of one copy of every recording you ever got. So I would never sell the last copy of anything. That's why it was an archive, and it still is an archive to this moment. People come in here once in a while and they ask for a song and my eyes light up and I feel like I'm part of the human race. That happens rare and rare and rare every day. It's a sad commentary on the times. I've spent the last 10, 12 years trying to find a home for my collection and basically nobody gives a damn. And I mean that from my heart. I'm gonna be 69 years old in September. I've given my whole life to this, but I have to give it up. Music of the future. Music of the past. Music of